I have great news for you. Today I'll share with you a solution to every single problem a person may have. Um, the ideas were gathered from Torah for Your Table by Rebbe Ten Esther Young Rice of Blessed Memory, as well as her sons, Rabbi Ansha Young Rice and Yisrael Young Rice. Um, it is quite interesting that we were commanded to build the tabernacle before the golden calf. Now, our sages taught us that if it wasn't for um, the golden calf, the sin of the golden calf, then we wouldn't have to build the sanctuary. However, we were commanded to build the sanctuary before the golden calf even occurred, the sin of the golden calf. That is quite interesting. Nothing in the Torah is random. Now the sanctuary is there to build us um, a safe haven with Hashem, to have a closer relationship with Hashem our God. However, the golden calf will di distance us from God. So why is it that we have to first build the sanctuary before we even knew that the golden calf uh, would occur, the sin of the golden calf would occur. Our sages teach us that before every single problem, Hashem gives us a solution. The solution in this example is building the sanctuary, building the sanctuary, the, the tabernacle, before the golden calf. The sin of the golden calf um, distanced us from Hashem. In other words, when we have a problem, we must know that a solution has already been created. We must know that there is salvation, there is Yeshua in the problem already. Now, we can look at a problem as though we're in hot boiling water. Now, when we're in hot boiling water, we can be an egg, we can be a carrot, or we can be coffee. Now, when there's a problem and there's a challenge, we can, just like the carrot, put ourselves in that hot boiling water and eventually disintegrate. When the carrot is in boiling water for a long time, it disintegrates. In other words, when we, if we're depressed by the problem, if we're broken by the problem, in other words, we will not reach a solution, in other words, we're going to be depressed. Or we can be an egg. If we're experiencing the problem, we're going to become more bitter, angry, resentful, and stubborn to accept any other reality. We just face with the reality of the problem. Or we can be like coffee. Now, if you're like coffee, you're going to accept the problem you're going to turn the water into a delicious aromatic drink like coffee. In other words, we'll take the problem that we have and we'll turn it into something pleasant. Now, not all problems obviously are pleasant. Probably none of them. And it's very difficult to tell anyone to, that you know what, your problems are really a blessing and there's a solution to every problem. But the knowledge just to know. It's just such a nechama to us. It, in other words, it's so healing to know and it's so comforting to know that whatever problem that a person may be experiencing at the moment may be so difficult, but just to accept, accept in your heart and in your mind that this is good for me and this, this problem already has a solution. So, with Hashem's help, may we approach our inevitable problems with dignity, with patience, and the knowledge that every solution has already been created before the problem was created. Leah Abramov, Being a Becoming.